It's no longer the same sports vehicle as the previous Mercedes-AMG GT. These days, the Afalterback V8 powered two-door is more of a grand tourer, with an expanded capability and roomier cabin thanks to standard all-wheel drive, albeit at the expense of increased weight. The new GT excels at cross-country missile driving, despite being less driver-focused than the previous model. This philosophy is furthered by the AMG GT63 SE performance, a new hybrid version that adds even more tech and power via a cleverly positioned electric motor in the back. With a total power output of 805 horsepower and 1,047 pound-feet of torque, it outperforms the ordinary car in terms of speed and is loaded with exciting hybrid technology that adds even more complexity to an already complicated vehicle. The e-performance and the GT63 standard are quite similar in many aspects. The Svelte, long nose body and threatening front end are exactly the same. The Michelin Pilot S five tires and carbon ceramic brakes remain the same, while the aerodynamics stay substantially unaltered. With its massive touchscreen control center, digital gauge cluster, and annoying touch-sensitive controls, the interior is borrowed from the pure ICE automobile. See my review of the GT63 for a detailed explanation of why I detest controls similar to this one. To put it briefly, they have the feel of cost-cutting tactics that are more difficult to use than actual switches and buttons. The real changes are all under the surface of this AMG. A 201 horsepower electric motor with two forward gears is mounted directly on the rear axle in place of a conventional rear differential.